Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. And Aquarius, if you're not, well, you're going to do a lot better after this reading, okay? So we're going to be finding out everything that Spirit wants you to know for Aquarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's check it out and see what is going on page of air. Okay. This is you. This is you at a new beginning. You had some type of rebirth. Congratulations. Something might not be so, uh, oh my goodness. That is, this is the rebirth card. <laughs> and it was, it's like upside down. Hmm. Challenging information. Okay. And then there's even this, uh, talk here on page of air about delays or change uh, to plans truth delivered without tact. Okay. Let me see here. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. You know, no matter what, this isn't a time to try to even, you know, conform or conform your ideas to mend with others. This is a time for you to really, um, you know, break free and know and understand truly where you, where you begin and end and others begin and end, end, including, you know, the way that people think, right? How we're, um, you know, perceiving something. But what's interesting is, okay, it's about, you're not patient with yourself. This is exactly what's going on. So the only challenge right now is being at this new place of feeling inexperienced but this is what makes you a great teacher in the end, okay? A guide or teacher for others, uh, someone who's able to share their experiences. So no, so no matter what you're going through, this is about you doing something and taking on something, in a sense, for others, okay? There, there's a bigger thing that's going on here. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. So you are at this new beginning and you've got many, many spirit guides surrounding you at this time. You might even feel that your world has been turned upside down. That's only to, that's only for you to see it in another way. Just look at it in another way, because in this time period, what's happening here <laughs> is I feel that there's, there's something on purpose here when it comes to being in the dark about something because it's helping you um, nurture this new maybe insight or perspective or awareness like a, a, and a gift, like a, a spiritual or psychic gift, okay? It's giving you time to nurture that because we do have the moon card, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Hmm. I want to get a little bit more with the awakening. So with the moon card that is associated with Pisces, also cancer, we do have page of air that is cancer, or excuse me, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could also be, um, your angels are guiding you to also out of the four of cups energy, a time of maybe boredom or, you know, just making sure that you're not missing an opportunity. That's why I feel that your angels are, you know, being really loud and clear. Oh, look at this. This is act. This is really good. You've got your elders. You've got the ancestors coming here showing you that you have moved beyond ancestral patterns. This is why you've already had your rebirth. You're at your new place. Okay. So you're nurturing something because you've broken an old karmic pattern. And look at this. This is all about this awakening. To me, this awakening is the rebirth card. You're having to surrender. You're having to um, shift your ideas, your perceptions, your beliefs, expand them. You're moving beyond something. You're, and you're a true seer. That's the thing. You possibly have already seen something. And the page of air is all about truth, okay? 
there may be a child involved for some of you, um, for some of you, Aquarius, not all of you. But that child would be someone that could br also be a true seer, um, someone that just speaks <laughs> bluntly. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else for Aquarius? I feel Archangel Gabriel is trying to say, wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't miss this opportunity. There's like some type of opportunity at hand here during this time of things working behind the scenes. Okay, we got another page. See, again, another beginning. Two cards really signifying something studious going on, okay? So you're a student right now, okay? Just accept this place of being a student because you're a great and wise leader. Good news about financial matters as well. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. There's, okay. You either have this gift or there may be someone that's going to show you a new way here. So we've got some type of opening or opportunity that's presenting itself. This is earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I want more too. What it, look, give me more with this page of earth. You know, I'm just two words are really popping out patience and successful and dependable too. So even though you're at this like new place or new area of your life, it's a reliable one. And the karma that you've reaped from breaking an old karmic pattern that you have seen, witnessed, felt, experienced, and broke free from, you're receiving good fortune from this. This is, uh, this is the page of earth. It's like getting um, unexpected Good news, um, you know, again, there's something about financial matters here. An opportunity to play, in a sense. Let's get more with Page of Earth. Be open to your environment and what your environment is also teaching you. Your elders are coming through that way, speaking to you. Mindful group think, you know what this is talking about? This is talking about stepping away actually from being in a group thinking. <laughs> it's just like what we're talking about, not conforming the mind, especially. This is why you've got something that's going on about a new area of study, being drawn into something different, new, and in something independent here. Keep your mind full of the things that you are filling it up, not what others are feeling, thinking, and building up on their own. Because you truly do have some type of inner vision and insight that, you, that you're picking up that you know is best for you. What else? Now, the other thing that I'm getting with that group think and mindful you know, we're talking about you being this um, in the state of being a student, going through some type of beautiful spiritual experience to share with others. And when the time is right, you may even absolutely have that opportunity here and start a new group or a community or tapping into the needs of others and help and guiding them in some way, shape or form. health and healing. This is that page of earth. We're at this new place of really um, taking care of our health. Uh, maybe there is something that's inspiring you to, you know, do some type of physical fitness, or maybe there's a uh, activity indoors or outdoors that you like to do that keeps you going, helps you feel young and fit no matter how old you are. Let's get a little bit more too with the uh, health and healing. There could be an area of study too with health and healing that's opening up to you or that's been available to you. You just may have been procrastinating on taking a step towards it, but take what resonates. 
Let's get a little bit more with the health and healing. Now we've got the king of earth. So there is some type of like great accomplishment when it comes to health and healing, aiding others, a successful time too. confidently accept opportunities you're offered. You've got the Midas touch plans working out successfully. And wow, we've got someone that is in power. You could be offered an opportunity, um, by, you know, working for someone good, or you could also be that, em um, employer for others, you know, take what resonates, but we are in a place of, you know, financially gaining good things as well. There's, there's a, there's this thing about you kind of, you may even broken a pattern here when it came to money. Cause you've got this Midas, Midas touch. So pay attention to those important psychic insights, events working behind the scenes. There's something about giving into a whole new area of study, confidently moving to that, um, or opening yourself up to that. Okay. Because it's leading you literally to some type of achievement and success in an area that's going to be way beneficial for you. And also I can see for others. You could also be manifesting someone here in your life too that could be definitely in, you know, in the field of health and healing. They can exude health and healing and great phys physical, you know, fitness or stature. Okay, the dreamer, Archangel Metatron, a leap of faith, following your dreams, unexpected opportunities. Yep. There's something going on here. I feel that there's already opportunities around you right now or nearing. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith here. Something unexpected going after your dream, you know, releasing the unnecessary burdens as well here because you're starting out brand new. Uh, Aries is associated with the dreamer here. Let's get a little bit more with the dreamer. Let's see what was behind the dreamer. We got the strength card and the world card. I'm not surprised. Okay, let's see the bottom here too. So plans need revision. More going on than meets the eye. There may be something here with poor timing. Okay, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, for, uh, forgiveness, and compassion. Because there's something about you feeling some type of achievement and success and some type of, you know, protection here. You've got the world card. So, you know, the world card is the last card in tarot, and we got the dreamer, which is the very first card here. So there has been a significant shift when it comes to, you know, it's like being in closing one chapter while still being open to a new chapter. So we're still, hmm, we're still, ha we're still in the old chapter in, in some aspects here, which is fine, which is fine. But listen, there's something about you noticing what you have achieved, what you, what you haven't a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. You're on this path toward enlightenment. So take a leap of faith when it comes to going into the unknown or, you know, unmarked territories, because you were born to lead. You were born for this. There's something about you uh, being a blessing to the world as well. Now we got the seven of swords coming through. So let's get a little bit more with the seven of air. Let's get more about this because there is something about planning here and we may need to revise our plans. Um, especially, especially if we feel, you know, this isn't the time to take shortcuts in anything or, um, you know, you may need to protect your own energy as well. Aquarius, uh, you may have some, some dishonest, um, people around, or there could be something about, you know, not so good intentions. Okay. But I'm also seeing this as don't not letting something steal your dreams here, you know, cause we have the dreamer and then the, and then the seven of air came out, which is a card of theft. 
So this could be a, you know, a time stealer, a dream stealer. Let's get a little bit more about the seven of air. Teachability. We're at the hollow bone, the wall. So what's meant for you is going to be meant for you. Okay. You're not going to be walled up or walled off opportunities that are meant for you. You've come to a place of, you know, hollowing something out within yourself, you know, some type of old, um, energy, right? Because you've moved beyond ancestral patterns. You're at this place of, you know, being a student. We we're talking about this, you know, great leader and teacher within you, but, but that takes, you know, someone that is willing to be teachable. So we've got this whole new thing. It's like spirit is really asking you to, um, try to be in a, a place of an open, uh, very open minded here. Um, not trying to figure things out because something may, um, actually happen here that could, um, move beyond your expectations. So seven of swords, I see two of swords here, or maybe even the sense of judgment. We have the feast of plenty choices and their consequences and obstacles here. So I do feel that there may be, um, a better way, especially if not all of you, but if some of you, um, uh, you know, Aquarius, if you're trying to do something here where you know it's pulling you out of integrity in some way, shape, or form, then don't do it. Listen to your higher self. Follow the highest road or take the higher road in something here, okay? Because there's, there's something going on here where some type of obstacle was meant to be put on your path in order to hollow something out within self, within environment, because you move beyond ancestral patterns. Now there's another thing coming through too. Some of you, you've already unblocked something. You just need to wait patiently here because the thing is, is if you try to rush into something, you're going to build up another block. You're going to build, you're going to have to go through what seems like another lesson. You're choosing, you're choosing the feast of plenty and the reason why, and you're vibrating at that, um, frequency, by the way, because you're showing up as the king of earth, which is the king of pentacles. This is someone who is, um, responsible, who is, um, you know, had to go through many lessons and experience to become very skillful. And so we are building also internal wealth and external wealth. What else for Aquarius? Some of you Aquarius may have picked up on some type of deception here with someone. It really could have put you off. You just remember what you are seeing though. That's a gift. You're moving beyond what's not serving you anyways. Almost in a sense taking justice in your own hands where you're taking the high road and things. And when you do that, you're accumulating, you know, heavenly good deeds, building up your own natural consequence of plentiful. Nine of water. Wow. <laughs> and the empress, you're getting a wish fulfillment here and feel the comfort right now too. I do feel a lot of you, uh, Aquarius, if you're not doing it yet, you need to maybe get out to get out in nature. Nature is like your best friend right now. Your wish is coming true. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. You have the nine of water here. And we have the Empress, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams. And you even have the dreamer, nurture yourself and others. So you're in the gest gestation period here, right? We're talking about your rebirth. So we're 
at a very fertile time here. Make sure you're not missing the good things that you have going on in life, right? By not focusing on anything that could drain you or be negative because that's stealing your present moment. It's stealing you away from all the things that you should be very pride, you know, be proud of yourself, right? Because I'm seeing something about great pride here with the strength card and you are deserving of it and you're deserving of more. You could also be manifesting uh, a very nurturing person. Okay, what else? There is that, oh, I thought that was the four of, I thought that was the four of cups I was talking about. I feel like this card wants to come out as well. But this is the, this is the next card after the, the four of cups, which is the five of cups. Things, you know, not turning out the way you'd hope. That's that wall. That's that obstacle there. Um, but not seeing the positive in the situation. So something is actually a blessing in disguise. You could be crying over spilled milk. That may sound harsh in a sense, depending on what you've gone through. But, you know, give yourself time, though, to honor your emotions. But don't feel like you have to sync with it, okay? There's a, there's a beautiful blessing in it. And, in fact, I do feel that whatever had happened here, it actually opened your spiritual gifts even more. Because you had to figure something out here. Release. We have um, the death card here, and we have the knight of fire and the five of fire. Wow. The end of a, the end of a phase or a situation, a spiritual transformation and the time to move on. And you are powerfully, whoa, whoa, in a place. Uh, there is something going on here with you being self-assured. So, you know, there seems to be something that's going, that's gaining some momentum here. Okay. You do need to take you. Okay. This is, th there's something about, okay. Ah, Aquarius, I feel right now you need to watch out for, um, impulsivity. You want to take your time and think things thoroughly here and carefully. Cause there could be something going on here where, we may need to choose our battles or we may have some type of com confrontation that we can't avoid, but there's a way that you can get through it, around it. Yeah, bothersome details, conflicts with others. We got the five of, um, excuse me, this is, the, this is the drama card here. We don't know which direction to go. That's what it is. And, and also, we're feeling like our energy is being um, spread out everywhere in different, in different places. I want more with that five of uh, fire, please. I like this night of fire, though. Look at the picture of this night of fire. It's really powerful, tribal. Ooh. I, okay, there's something about you being ahead of the game here, though. And you've got what it takes. Wow, look at that courage. <laughs> this is you. Self-assured. Just harness your passions. Harness, you, figure out, fine, fine tune or figure out if you don't know what are your desires, right? Hunt. This is what I feel this is, this is what the Night of Fire is doing is hunting down um, their fears, hunting down fears to reveal desires here and having the courage to go on. I mean, you do have the strength card, which is associated with Leo. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. There's something about you having confidence here and, you know, moving beyond strife or feeling that you have to be competitive at this time. I would say try not to compare yourself either in, in anything that you're doing that will lead you to feeling like you are constantly going in circles. So just take that if that resonates. But I am seeing a winner here. 
Okay, what else? Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. So there's something about also having confidence in the things that you've built, um, created, manifested, achieved. Have courage and believe in yourself. See, there's this, there's a big thing about having courage. It's coming out here. Nine of fire is the nine of swords. You know, you may need to remain vigilant. Do what you can to protect your boundaries. Um, you you know, you may have been thrown off. Oh, there. Oh, okay. I'm getting something. If it hasn't happened. I don't, I think there's something about also watching for something or someone that could throw you off guard, right? Remember, think things through carefully. Don't act on, you know, impulse. I just feel that there's a need to take a, you know, move with grace here. But don't let your guard down when it comes to really standing tall and proud, we got the, you know, this is like that wounded warrior, but this is that, there, there's a spiritual warrior. I mean, look at, look at it. Look at you. It's like, you know, defending till the end here. Hmm. What else? And really what you're defending is keeping your vision and your dreams pure doing what you know is right because you're being guided here. Your ancestors are coming through, cheering you on. This is why the world card is coming out as well. Listen, let's get more with listen. You may need to just listen more. Listen what's going on around you. Listen to the wisdom of your body. Let's get more with listen for Aquarius. I knew, I knew this, I knew, I knew this guy was going to come out. Okay, there's another, look, okay, there's another card that wants to come out. Guess what card this is? It's the dream thief, refusal of the card. Oh, excuse me, refusal of the call. What, wants, what else wants to come out with this? This is the seven of um, air. That dream thief told you. And here's your dream. It's brand new. It's just in its baby stage. Have more patience. And also, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heighten psychic abilities. Be patient here. <laughs> Listen to what could be taking away from, you know, your time, your energy, your resources right now and cut it out. Be strong, be in your king or queen of swords. Maintain a sense of health and integrity here. Now, there could have been someone that you guys were dealing with too, um, Aquarius, that, you know, maybe a, a moody, you know, immature person <laughs> and it might be taking up a lot of your time I would be cautious of, you know, indulging in things that make you feel really drained right now, but you do need to listen to, you know, these heightened psychic abilities that it's showing up as the beginning here. Okay. With that page. And this is what you need to have patience because, you know, you're, you're only enhancing your uh, abilities here to really co-create strongly with spirit, but you do need to protect, see, remain vigilant. You need to protect yourself from something or someone that could be taking your time, your energy, right? And what's what I what I can tell you is I felt there was this this enter this card, and if you notice, Archangel Gabriel even has a trumpet, was coming out upside down. So there was a real challenge here, in a sense where it's like. You know, your angels are telling you not to miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. They want you to keep listening and, and encouraging you to follow your dreams, to open yourself up to. 
take time to listen to some. Um, also, you may need to take some. You may need to have patience with listening to someone as well because we could be, again, dealing with someone that could be immature or just not able to, you know, respect others' time. <laughs> what else? Four of water. There it is. There's. This is the four of cups I was picking up. Okay, missing an opportunity, right? Discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Open your eyes. This is Four of Cups. Let's get more with the Four of Cups. What's the advice here? The thing is, too, um, is one thing you, you know, what... What we have to be cautious of and have balance is, yes, we need to honor our time. We need to honor our emotions. Sometimes we do need to give in to discontentment, boredom, you know, feeling frustrated. But when we um, aren't balanced with that, when it takes up too much of our time, what happens is we lose that empress power where the empress is nurturing those things and allowing it to grow lavishly. But if we're missing... Our, you know, if we're missing time with those other things that are going good in one's life, then though, you, you know, then we're having to go back and work harder at, re, you know, getting it back to a, a good place or we end up losing something. So we don't want that to happen. Okay. And that not saying that that is right. Just be cautious here because, you know, there's something about opening your eyes. Actually, I just heard breathe a sigh of relief. You might have dodged a bullet. I don't, okay, I'm sorry if that's, oh, I don't mean to like sound like that, but I heard breathe a sigh of relief. And then we got the card of find the, find the blessing in your current situation. There's something that it's actually, something has happened to free you up. So there, there's, it's giving you room to actually indulge in something that you're meant to indulge in right now. Okay, what else? Now we got the Ten of Water. It's all leading you to some kind of beautiful place. And the Two of Water. Oh, my goodness. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The posi a positive resolution of a conflict. Yay. And you got the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups. A, cont um, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. And that's coming through very strong because we got a lot of emotional cards and we've got, um, you know, we've got the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles, which is about uh, material needs that are met. Trustworthy relationships as well. These are both trustworthy re uh, people or person. The, the kind of family you want and the lifestyle that you want, Aquarius, it's going to happen because you're the one that's dreaming it. Two of water is the two of cups. This is love. I've got the queen of water right behind <laughs> Look at the queen of water for a moment. My God, she looked like the phoenix rising for, the, for a moment. And that's exactly what I can see happening to you because you've gone through the process of resurrection. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. You know, that's all you got to do is take time to nurture and care for yourself and others. That, that's going good, that you want to nurture and care, okay? And watch your life unfold it's opening up. You're getting, you're getting your, you really are getting, um, you know, what matters to you the most, especially when it comes to fulfillment and love, family, home life. You have a, a psych, a very, uh, you have someone that's very psychic as well. One or two people, they may be with you physically or non-physically that you can trust. What else?
and set lay of the land. <laughs> this is all about staying connected here. You know, that earth energy coming through, getting out there, studying, taking some time. We have ancestral, you know, you move beyond ancestral patterns and listening to the ancestral wisdom within. And look at you achieving this sense of victory, glory, because you know your way. Somehow, some way, you will always know and find your way. You're that connected. It's like you've, you've got what I see, actually, yes, this is what I see. Deeply rooted um, roots that, be, you know, I'm, I'm sensing something that's very, um, that goes beyond this lifetime. So past lives, past soul lives, you know, all that stuff. Doesn't matter if it was here on earth or not on earth. Your, you know, your soul carries wisdom from all experiences. And this is what you got to trust. And you're not alone either. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so let's find out um, how spirit is currently helping you, Aquarius, that you need to be aware of. How is spirit helping Aquarius? decisions. Ooh, nice. Six of earth. Oh my goodness. More about prosperity, more about material needs being met, balance in a uh, life. Oh my goodness. Your money. Oh yeah. Gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities and receiving a loan or paying off debts. We're in a place of reciprocity, giving and receiving and cherishing these things because we find tuned something going on here in that time of darkness, right? Allowing you to revisit or revise plans. We got a lot about, you know, things becoming more balanced and harmonious materially and spiritually here. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Three of Earth. There's more about... <laughs> material things and resources, people, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So when the time's right, when the time is right, you know, the, the, there's something about networking possibly for those that are, um, that you resonate with that collaborating with others, but most importantly, you're establishing something where you're becoming very skillful in doing something that you love. So we are at this three of pentacles. This is what you have. Oh, no. And look at this. This is a butterfly. Oh, my goodness. That transformation. See? Enjoying your transformation. And I'm seeing this thing where you're allowing others to come to you because you're that magnetic and you have the Midas touch. This is a, a time that you're greatly advancing materially and spiritually. Trust this. And this is what you have to look forward to in the near future. Someone is on your path. One or two people. Very important. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.